This is Dave from DNA Reptilia. We're back down in the basement for a quick and dirty video because I had computer issues this week, so this is the last second because that's all I got time for. Let's go. Update number one, I have somewhat of a door. This is just partially, this is to the rat room, sliding door. Since I don't have a whole lot of room for anything else. Close the door behind. Not really much of a update for the tubs or anything. They're all munching away on snacks. Update is besides having a sliding door, which is actually an old closet door, I put a little nub on it because I had to cut it a little short. Got bracket up there. He says an old closet door. Uh, we don't have doors on our closets in our bedroom right now, so I decided to uh, let's. Use one of the doors and tracks. I had to extend it a little bit. This isn't made to be pretty, it's made to be functional. Um, but other main update is this insulated wall. What I'm trying to do is kind of separate the um, rat room from the rest of the basement because we'll look behind here. Open this door up a little bit. Uh, I don't have my flashlight, dang it. Hold on, I go get a flashlight. All right, flashlight. As you can see, our wall is a stone wall back there, and I gapped it. It's a non structural wall. Well, that's a piece of plywood I'm storing. But see, there's two by four frame here. There's a one by three right there at a two foot spacing so I could install the styrofoam. And I went around the cold air return, all one by three spacings, or one by three pieces of lumber at a two foot spacing. Reason why I did a two foot spacing, well, it's plain and simple, it does. The styrofoam insulation is four feet wide. It's a non-structural wall. I wanted it to be easy to install the insulation to try to block off this room. What you can't see is behind here, you could go into the other side of the basement and there was a big hole up here also that could go to the other side of the basement plus the cold air return. I'm just trying to keep the temperature more even in this side of the basement so that, um, well, basically temperatures, but it helps keep the ammonia over on this side instead of sped, spreading throughout the rest of the house. It wasn't bad because it was really thinned out, but since I put up this wall right here and uh, completely closed it off pretty much, the ammonia has been actually staying in here a couple days ago um, before I cleaned, it was a lot stronger in here than what it ever has been. So, the importance of separating this amount of rats, I have like 80 or 90 breeding females plus a male per tub and the grow ups, which <laughs> this week has been a good week. Mind you, this is only temporary. I have customers that come in and grab um, smalls, and I will be probably culling tomorrow also. So this is just from the cleaning from the past two days. So I will be doing some culling tomorrow to cull some uh, smalls. See the all going towards the back there. But yes, 
I need to cull smalls in order to feed our other snakes. It's been a long time since this has been that full because I had to rotate our females around. Well, not around, I had to rotate them out of production because they were over six months old. Over a period of the last three months, I've been reducing, or I've been culling the breeding females and some of the males and putting new females in rotation. And now the production's back up again, which is really nice. I wish I would've done it six months ago. But, um, oh. Other updates, I, our walls in our house, or our windows in our house suck for opening. So I actually had this window broke out a long time ago so I could get some kind of ventilation out for other things. But I replaced it with a piece of pink insulation, which is in there pretty tight. It's still a little, little cold air is coming around the sides, but it's not bad. And then I put on a blower fan instead of a regular bladed fan. So I would not get any blowback of cold air coming past on the windy days. This fan on high puts out over 600 CFM. And I needed to control that to help keep um, volume down. So I can hear my music and I can hear my customers. So I picked up this speed controller I can turn it down. Turn it really far down. Or I can turn it all the way up. If I leave it on high medium, if I wanted to, I can turn it off or turn it on full. So like if I come down here and it's um whoop. If I come down here and it has a little bit of a smell, or if I got customers in here, or if I'm cleaning rat tubs, bust it out on full. But this is an example of our old wall. Um you got it extending all the way over there. And it actually extends all the way back there, all the way behind here, wall goes all the way around. And I will be adding a false non-structural wall all the way around with insulation on it. Less I use this thing, the better. Um, finally took care of this plug that I always hit. Yeah, I hit it all the time. It was a regular light outlet that I had uh, the lights plugged into, but I took care of that. I actually have an outlet over here now that's connected to it, and an outlet over here, over here, <laughs> over here that's connected to it. This one is spaced out right now, so I can put uh, three quarter inch uh, pink insulation foam up on the ceiling main reason why I didn't put it here is because of that guy. It was sticking out so much. I wanted to cover it, but I need to get a steel plate to put over there because there is actually an open splice, or not an open splice, but there is a splice in there because I had to go from here, I had to go back, and then I had to go that way too. So now I have it all tidied up. This is the controller for the LEDs. And I got this all tidied up. I strapped up all the wires so I'll be up and out of the way. I tidied up the, where is it, hands. These wires that were hanging down that are from uh, cable and regular old fashioned landline phone line. And I also have to finish wrapping up the cold air return. It's definitely cold. But just to try to keep all the heat in here so I'll get pink insulation up here and yes, once I build the wall over there, I will finish uh, insulating up on top of that, clean up all those wires, bracket them all on. This I will be replacing is just a makeshift. It is, um, 
I cut a hole into one of our uh, heater vents upstairs because we have two heat vents in our living room. We don't need that many. So I didn't completely plug it off. I'm taking about 80% of the volume out of that pipe and I'm pushing into here. That's also helping to heat this room. Remember, this is in our basement. Hence the reason why that, yeah, in our town, a lot of the older homes have short basements. So that's the quick update down in the rat room, trying to get this decent uh, to where it actually looks decent, you know, and um, and it functions exactly how like it should be. Good ventilation, good heating, good cooling. Because um, the main importance is to keep it warm in here, but yet also extinguish the ammonia gases that uh, rodents produce uh, from the urine. All right, thanks for following this quick and dirty video. Um, it's just an update of our rat room. It's probably not going to be viewed very much, but if you did watch it, I appreciate you stopping to this video and watching to the end. But, um, yeah. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you don't like this video, hit that dislike button twice. And please do us a favor, like, well, I already asked you to like, but share, subscribe, hit that bell so you can get notified when we actually upload new videos. And next week's video is going to be another photography video because I kind of went uh, down the rabbit hole, so to say, with photography a little bit. So follow along and uh, see what we come up with next time. Till next time then, see ya.